With competitive events come competitive leagues, and eventually with competitive leagues come professional levels. This applies to pretty much everything. Swimming, soccer, football, video games, paintball, airsoft, and laser tag? Yo, what? This is, okay, this is kind of, this is actually really cool. I did not know that there was, like, a professional form of laser tag. This is actually kind of sick. Now, with that said, not everything will become competitive, and not everything should be competitive. There needs to be a balance. Some things just need to be fun. We don't need to have board games become a competitive scene. Which brings us to the topic of today. I stand by this statement. I've had this opinion for a long time, and I'm going to hold on to it. Professional video games are not anything new. It's not even a new thing for Rainbow Six. Competitive Rainbow Six games have been around long before Siege was even a concept. And while those games were okay, they never had the issues Siege currently has. What are these issues, you might ask? Well, it's simple. Gaming has changed. Competitive gaming in the past was nothing insane. It had a pretty niche audience. It wasn't nearly as organized nor defined as esports are now. MLG Gaming, and before that, Clan Games, were really just that. Teams of players who enjoyed the specific video game a lot coming to these tournaments to get a small amount of cash and maybe help kickstart a potential YouTube career. It was a lot like the early days of professional football, where it was pretty much just a side gig if you were lucky. Most of these players still had normal jobs and just really enjoyed the game, so they come together to play them competitively. Naturally, there was going to be a change. Video games have only continued to get popular, only continued to become more prevalent in the online space. So it was only a matter of time before some sort of annual organized event or events came about. Rainbow Six Siege was one of the unfortunate games that released in the perfect moment to transition from a minor league thing to a true professional field. Several years after its release. Now, this is where the main issues lie. Games like Vegas 2 or Halo 3 weren't necessarily balanced games, they were just really fun. They had their fair share of overpowered weapons, badly designed maps, meta builds, or strategies, etc. players would exploit. There's nothing wrong with that at all. The main issue is, a game like Rainbow Six Siege just isn't compatible with this hyper-competitive league. The game is, by nature, unbalanced, because of one simple thing. Defenders. Defenders are always going to have an advantage. This is just how it works, both in a video game or in real life, defending a fortified location is always going to favor the defenders. Being inside a barricaded, fortified house, for example, will always give you an advantage over, say, a SWAT team attempting to force you out of the house. You can easily set up a kill zone the police cannot avoid entering, you can barricade the doors, block the windows, etc. Siege is the video game version of this. Defenders will always have an advantage. There's no amount of balancing that can change this, short of making all the defenders have no gadgets at all, and the attackers having force fields. On the surface, this isn't a huge problem. Unbalanced games can be fun. That's why a lot of people love Old Siege. It wasn't balanced, but it was fun. Fun no longer exists in the game. Now, a lot of people are going to get very upset with what I'm about to say, but... Rainbow Six Siege was never designed to just be a competitive shooter. I have a quote from the creative director of the game. Rainbow Six was one of my first experiences as a FPS, which was, at the time, a big shock for me. We felt it was our duty to release a worthy successor. It was crucial for us that Rainbow Six Siege be as true to the original universe of Rainbow Six as possible. Xavier Marquis Siege was never designed as a competitive shooter. It was designed as a realistic shooter with competitive multiplayer. Everything from launch Siege supports this. The game was just not designed at launch for a true competitive scene. That doesn't mean it can't have competitive multiplayer. It can. Lots of games have competitive multiplayer that's unbalanced and unfair. Look at Dead by Daylight. Siege at launch just did not and still does not work in a truly competitive environment. And yet, despite this, people have tried time and time again to force it to become one. Much like many maps in Siege, Siege as a whole was reworked. And this rework attempted to make Siege more fairly balanced for professional play. And who was behind this push? Well, the professional players, of course. And again, this might not seem bad on the surface, but 
this is what ends up taking away Siege's identity. Every single major change made to the game was made for one crowd and one crowd only. The pros. Why? Simple. They bring in money. Why bother having a fun game when a very tiny percentage of your player base doesn't like something? Night maps? Removed, because they were too unbalanced. Were they fun? You bet. Could they have existed in ranked? Nope. Might as well just get rid of them. Maps designed to mimic a real place? Let's just completely change the entire map to a maze of corridors and hallways. Oh, and let's also allow players to ban new maps so that they don't have to ever play them. A well-developed, unique PvE mode that required teamwork, playing smart, and not rushing in headfirst? Nah, I'm too lazy to learn how to play that mode properly. Take out all the stuff that makes the mode fun so I can have my little headshot simulator. And while we're at it, make sure all those programmers' hard work in making a stable AI is undone so I don't have to worry about them killing me. I need to warm up. Let's take out these other two game modes while we're at it because I don't like having to change my strategies and let's also make the playlist they are in have the exact same playtime as mine so I can quickly warm up. I'm a professional player. I don't want to play anything new and have to change how I play because I'm a professional. As someone who's both a game designer and someone who plays Siege for my college, professional players have no idea what makes a game good. Take my word for it, I have over a thousand downloads for all the games I have made. I know what I'm doing. I also make Battlefront 2 maps, so like I'm pretty much a pro at how to make multiplayer maps. What makes a competitive game good is not something that can be applied to normal game design. A game needs to be built from the ground up to be a competitive shooter. Siege was not that. It was a realistic shooter that became a competitive shooter through reworks. And much like all of the maps in the game, operators got reworked too because Pro League couldn't compete with them. Remember when Zofia could self-revive? Well, that got removed because pros complained about it. Zofia got nerfed after this play. They drop him, and now it's just a matter of getting the diffuser down. He's not quite finished. Sophia, it's Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. They're trying to pull themselves back up, but with 20 seconds and a man upstairs somehow! Aces goes down a one versus one! They lost it, they picked themselves up just in time. Corey versus Usus. Gonna try and stick it again, oh! there it is! Usus! Hello, darkness, my old friend. Same with Ella's last stand ability. Nook was at one point really good. Now she's completely useless because pros complained about her ability. As well as cooking frag grenades and a bunch of other issues too. These changes didn't make the game better. They made it less fun. There was no reason for Sophia to lose her ability. Did it make sense? No, but it was fun. Did Nook being able to go silent make the game balanced? No, but it was fun and it made her useful. Did removing the ability to cook frag grenades make the game more balanced? I guess, but it also took away a lot of the strategies and fun you could use with frag grenades. There is a fundamental difference between professional players and fans of the game. Professional players for Siege in particular do not like how this game is meant to be played. Siege is not a game based on skill, it's based on teamwork and strategy. You can win by being smart. But the pros don't seem to like this. They just want the game to be perfectly balanced. This takes away the core fun of the game. There are games out there that are perfectly balanced. Everyone is on the same page. But those games are not very popular because, well, at the end of the day, they're all just kind of boring. The pros have their game and they're still trying to ruin it. They're trying to get rid of that one-shot headshot thing because it's not fair, I guess. Not everything needs to be fair. Sometimes things need to be fun. Siege is a unique game, but the Pro League does not like the unique aspects of it, because if they lose, it makes them look bad. By design, Siege cannot work in a perfectly balanced stage. Both teams have significantly different mechanics that even from the get-go make them play differently from each other. The defenders have such a drastic advantage over the attackers, it would be like if in a game of Battleship, the second player can move any of their battleships at will. This doesn't mean you can't have fun competing in the game. You can. Games like Dead by Daylight and 007 Nightfire's multiplayer are fun. Games like Siege can be fun. The thing is, though, is it will always struggle with being a fair competitive game. The unfair factor is what makes Siege fun, the unpredictability of it all. Like it or not, the game needs to have these unbalanced aspects to stay unique. It's not Counter-Strike, and yet the pros are trying to get Ubisoft to just make Siege an unbalanced Counter-Strike. 
Fun is being taken away from the game for the sake of competitive play. Everything in the game is geared towards getting people to play ranked. The tutorials are designed to make you think of ranked hostage and secure area are hidden away from new players. They may have changed this, but for a time, standard was the only mode new players could play. They couldn't access quick match at all. And even then, the playtime for standard and quick match is the exact same as ranked, just the matches last a little shorter in them because they don't have as many rounds. Even the AI mode is just designed to get you to learn the bomb sites to play ranked multiplayer. There was no reason for the other two game modes to be removed from standard and unranked, but they were because bomb's the only mode that matters. I would not be surprised if they end up removing hostage and secure area completely in the near future. The game has a parasite. That parasite is those that just don't care about the game. They just care about winning. The game, while it can still be fun, is not treated as a fun game. It's treated as a competition on every level of play. There is nothing casual about this game. Nothing. The tutorials try to mimic a multiplayer match. The AI bots try to mimic multiplayer matches. Two of the game's game modes are just hidden. You have to unlock them after getting to a certain level, and then you have to hope that your filter is not set to the most popular mode to play them. There's no dedicated casual mode. The arcade playlist, I guess, is the closest we got, and the arcade modes just aren't fun. I can understand why a lot of people would like that, and why a lot of people do like Siege, but when it overlaps to the casual side of the game too, it just sucks. I play video games, including PvP games, to relax. I don't want to feel like I'm constantly having to compete to have fun.